If you just hook your new high-definition TV up to your old cable connection, your DVD player, and your VCR, you're going to miss out on the real benefits of high-definition. Your movies will look a lot better, but your TV, actually, it's probably going to look worse. Oh, it'll be bigger, but you'll notice every flaw in the image. Bringing a high-definition TV into your house means a house cleaning of your old audiovisual gear and a new relationship with your TV provider. For true HD 1080p, it takes two to tango. You got your TV, now you need a source. And for true full 1080p, that source is a Blu-ray player. Now we'll talk about that in a few minutes. But first up, let's consider the world of broadcast TV. There's still a bit of confusion out there over this, so listen carefully, folks, ears forward. Just because you purchase a high-definition ready display does not mean you now have high-definition TV. You need to subscribe to a high-definition service. Your old cable connection isn't going to cut it anymore. Even if you have digital service, you still need to upgrade to high-definition service. So I strongly recommend that you shop around a bit before you make those decisions. Your options here in Canada are your cable provider and several satellite providers. Now they all have websites that you can go to to compare their services. But take your time. Figure out exactly what services you really want and need and then price them out. Fortunately, more products are being offered in high definition all the time. Top network shows are now nearly all high definition and so are most sports. But make sure that what you like to watch is in high definition before you pay that extra cash. The satellite providers also offer pretty good options, but you need to consider your physical location. You need to be able to install a dish in your house or apartment that can see the satellite, so you do have to do research there as well. You'll also probably suffer a little bit of sticker shock on the actual high definition receiver's cost. Sometimes it's included as a bundle when you buy your initial system, which is well worth considering. But you can also get a pretty spanky upgrade to your whole system from choosing one of the PVR or personal video recorder options. They are really spectacular. Now as far as DVD players go, you have several options here as well. Blu-ray is definitely the preferred upgrade, but there's several options that will nicely bridge the gap until you're ready to take the leap into Blu-ray. For your old DVDs and non-high definition type DVDs, well, you can upgrade your DVD player to one which up-converts the image. Up-converting a DVD basically increases the resolution on the DVD signal to make it play back better on high definition displays. It does this by processing the video through a video processor before you see it on the screen. Now you're going to notice a big difference in quality, but I should point out it's still not going to be as good as a true Blu-ray disc. But your old movies will look far better than they ever have before. Samsung offers several models of up-converting DVD players. Now, current models upconvert standard DVDs to either 720p or 1080i resolution. And there is one other big benefit to using these upconverting DVD players. And they output their signal in HDMI, which means that you get the full signal strength to your HD TV, and everything stays digital, which is a big improvement over the component video that most of us currently use with our DVD players. With HDMI, everything works better. Now included in the upconverting DVD lineup from Samsung are several theater in a box solutions that include complete surround sound systems. We're not going to look at them right now, but we will be going into detail with them in our next show. So back to today's topic, HD sources. Now we've covered over the air high definition television and legacy DVDs, but what about that holy grail of HD TV, Blu-ray. Once you see a Blu-ray disc played in true 1080p HD, You'll either be a convert or a lost cause. You know, if you sit down and watch it and you don't drool, you're probably not human. So, you've heard the hype about Blu-ray, let's get down to the facts. The biggest advantage Blu-ray discs have over traditional DVDs is picture quality. Blu-ray has about six times the amount of detail over your traditional DVDs. Also, Blu-ray is the only way to get true 1080p HD. All the other current sources that we just talked about, the set-top boxes, the satellite receivers, the up-converting DVD players, they all max out at either 720p or 1080i. And as we mentioned, that quality is good, it's even great, but it's not spectacular. Only full 1080p is true HD, and it's mind-blowing. Now, technically speaking, Blu-ray's big. Each side of a Blu-ray disc holds 25 gigabytes of data. Put that in perspective for you, traditional DVDs hold 4.7 gigabytes which means Blu-ray discs are five times bigger per side. And believe it or not, we need that space. 
High definition data takes up way more room, but it also means that we can fit more extras on the disc as well. Already, producers are incorporating extra features galore on Blu-ray titles, which go well beyond the current features offered on our current DVDs, like behind-the-scenes features or outtakes. We're talking about full-blown games that you can play with your remote control. It's very cool stuff. Samsung's Blu-ray player will also play all of your old movies and upconvert them as well. So, if you do take the plunge into the Blu-ray, you won't need a second DVD player for all your old DVDs. It's not like it was when we had to upgrade from the VHS world to DVD. You don't need to replace all of your old favorite titles, unless, of course, you want to. But it's really the new releases that you want Blu-ray for. As of Christmas 2006, about 100 movies were available in Blu-ray, but by the end of 2007, 5,000 titles will be available. Plus, we're starting to see Blu-ray appear in rental locations. How cool is that?